the nine. You're at college NFL professional, uh, but sports betting is becoming more popular, but it could impact your taxes. Local financial instructor Michael Mazarin from the Retirement Education Foundation is here to break down what you need to know really before you place a bet because, you know, uh, back in the day, Michael, you bet with your bookie or whatever, uh, <laughs> perhaps, allegedly. Uh, you're not worried about the taxes. Now, ever since, you know, Michigan legalized sports gambling, mm -hmm. you know, the online gambling is, is new to a lot of people. People are diving in head first and then all of a sudden you win and you got a tax bill. Right, so it's, it's legal in 30 states now. And I mean, every other commercial I feel like is a, is a sports betting commercial, it's an app, everyone's got an app on their phone. And it's always fun to win, but you gotta make sure you're setting money aside for taxes when you do win. Because if, if you do win, you win a couple hundred bucks, couple thousand bucks, that's exciting, that's the rush. But then come tax time, you get a tax form for that and people go, oh, wait a minute, now I have a big tax bill I was not expecting. Yeah, exactly. And so what do people do if, uh, you know, they're hit with that tax bill and they're not expecting that at all? That happens a lot. Yeah. And so if that does happen, you got to work with the IRS and say, hey, look, you know, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't aware of this tax bill. Can we set up a payment plan and kind of pay that off? And one thing you don't want to do is try to hide those winnings and that's not great one of the things the um, one of the things the um, uh, casinos will do as well is they'll send you a nice uh, tax bill for your winnings even if you've lost that money back to the casino already yeah and so for most for most organizations that thresholds about six hundred dollars if mm -hmm. you win more than six hundred dollars expect a tax form in the mail if you do lose those winnings back you can deduct those losses against your winnings but you might want to talk to a tax professional about that because that can get complicated on your tax forms now a lot of people out there uh, may be watching this who have placed a wager or two in the past and said okay if if you're going to deduct my winnings can I deduct my losses and so you can deduct those against the winnings. Mm. And as, as long as if, if you lost as much as you won, it can be a wash, but you want to work with, work with a tax professional for that. But if you just flat out never win. <laughs> <laughs> that's a different that's a, story. That's for a sure. whole other story. For sure. <laughs> but it is kind of eye-opening to, to really consider this because a lot of people, uh, when Michigan legalized sports mm -hmm. betting and online betting, more importantly, um, you're just doing it from your phone. You're not going to the casino. Maybe you're not paying attention to right, it. Right. You don't really realize all these things that come along with it. Absolutely. And it's so popular. I mean, there were mm -hmm. 50 million bets placed during the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. double what they were expecting. And now we're in March Madness and people are betting on teams and games and prop bets and everything. It is so popular and people just don't think about that tax consequence. No doubt about it. So uh, before you make a bet, Michael, what do you want people to consider? Just, just you know, having an understanding of this consequence if you do win? Well, first and foremost uh -huh. is betting is risky uh -huh. and don't bet more than you can afford to lose. That's uh -huh. number one. And if you do, if you are lucky enough to win, think about those tax consequences. No doubt about it. And then afterwards uh, as well, if you're getting it as a financial advisor, forget about the taxes for a uh -huh. minute. So many people out there are struggling with gambling. Mm -hmm. They're struggling with the high of it, the low of it. Uh, this is a real problem for a lot of people and I'm sure you're seeing a lot of it. So we saw it in the stock market actually in 2020 mm. during the lockdown there were no sports and a lot of these mm. gamblers turned to the stock market for that same rush, that same high. Mm -hmm. And it was the same thing. They, they might win a couple early, they thought they found a system, they, they bet bigger, they lose it all. So just make sure you're not gambling more than you can afford to lose and you know have some systems in place there to prevent that from happening. Uh, just a thought about tax time. We are coming up here uh, to April 15th, mm -hmm. tax deadline day. If you have just been overwhelmed, you haven't even looked at your taxes yet, what's one or two things that people should do right now today? So what you can always do is file an extension. Now, mm -hmm. extensions used to be kind of, uh, people thought it was a bad thing to do, but it's not the end of the world, honestly. It does not trigger extra audits with the IRS. So file an extension, and if you have to, go consult with a tax professional. Uh, there's so much made of those 87,000 IRS uh, agents that were added. What do you know about like that impact on regular people? So those that's 87,000 agents being added over the next 10 years, okay. so it's, it's a long runway here, and they're officially targeting higher income earners. Mm -hmm. So if, if you're in that if you're in that higher income earner bracket, mm -hmm. be sure you're you're crossing your T's and dotting your I's because they can come after you if you have a couple hundred, couple thousand bucks of un, of unreported taxable winnings. Where uh, can we find you, Michael? So there's more tax information at retirementplanningedu.org. Retirement planning. 
edu.org. Uh, Michael, we can't thank you enough. I uh, love having you on the show. Learn a lot. Of course. Thanks for having me. You bet. Uh,